Peggy 18 We are so excited for fans to get their hands on the first DLC of the season. We've been listening to your feedback and we have so much more to come. We've got four intense maps and a brand new zombie experience. One of the great things about DLC is it gives us the first opportunity to address what the players are looking for and what things can be improved upon in the Infinite Warfare experience. We get a lot of feedback across social media, forums, everywhere. It's been really cool to see everything from beta up till now, the requests. So you're gonna see drastic changes and things you love brought into these new maps. Noir is a dark, grimy, moody Brooklyn from the distant future. On one side, you spawn under the Brooklyn Bridge, which is kind of gritty. And then the exact opposite side of the map, it's a little bit nicer. There's cafes and parks. And then in the middle, it's just a war zone. Neon is a virtual training simulator for urban warfare. It's a Z-shaped map with a long sight line down the middle, a high B point up on a ledge, and a close quarters area in a nightclub in the third lane. When you run around, cars will generate. Players, when they die, they will dissolve into a mess of polygons. It's a very interesting and fun play space to be in. One of the maps in DLC 1 that we are pretty excited about is called Renaissance. It takes place in Venice. It's a very tight quarters, very fast gameplay. If you like to snipe, you're going to love the church lane. If you like to run and gun with your shotgun or your SMG, you're going to love skating through the interiors and engaging players. And if you're a mobile mid-ranger, you're going to love taking your assault rifle onto the streets. Another map we have is called Dominion, and it's a Modern Warfare 2 remake of the classic map Afghan. This time it takes place on Mars. Afghan is such a revered map, not just amongst the fans, but also among everybody at Infinity Ward. It has a lot of different identifiable landmarks that everybody can remember, the crash ship, the AA guns on the hill. And we knew it was kind of an easy transition over to Infinite Warfare's Theater of War. And players can now boost jump up to the lookout and counter snipers with close range engagements. But Raven the Redwoods is a trip back to the 1990s to a place that is such a stark contrast from what we did in Zombies in Spaceland. I think players are in for a real surprise. We made them really comfortable in Spaceland by opening up lanes, making it bright and colorful. This is really a horror film brought to life in a video game form. It's going to blow people's minds. After getting sucked out of, of Zombies in Spaceland, uh, our four characters appear in a cabin they wake up kind of groggy. They kind of realize that they're maybe in the 90s now. As you explore outside of the cabin, you find out that you're actually in an abandoned camp that's been kind of taken over by a few hundred raver kids that are throwing a, an all-night rave party uh, in the middle of the woods. The level has this dark, foreboding, kind of spooky vibe, and then the world comes alive. There's new weaponry, there's new fate and fortune cards coming, new traps within the map. Our cast of characters are getting a whole new wardrobe change. We're gonna introduce a new character named the Slasher. There's so much more to tell. We can't wait for people to get a chance to experience what it's like to be in Raven the Redwoods. People are in for a real treat. All of the devs here at Infinity Ward cannot wait for our fans to get their hands on the new content. The weapons, the quests, there's so much going into it. Fans are going to be super excited. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 1 pack will be available January 31st, first on PS4.